Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Emily Younger. The Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe v. Wade is putting the state of Kansas in the national spotlight. Our August primary election means Kansas voters will be the first in the U.S. to react at the ballot box. Kansas' Craig Anders joins us tonight with what it all means. Craig? Yeah, Kansas front and center now of the abortion debate and states' rights. Our analyst says this controversy will increase voter turnout come August the 2nd. It certainly has the potential to be a, a higher than normal voter turnout. Analyst Jeff Jarman says primary turnouts in Sedgwick County alone can only have half the turnout of the general in November. This August 2 primary could be different with abortion rights or restrictions up for a vote. But because this issue is so polarizing, it, it is the kind of issue where both sides can get more people to the polls. Jarman also says if the yes votes win on value, then both lawmakers in Topeka likely would start abortion restrictions next session. If the no vote wins, Kansas lawmakers would live with the Supreme Court of Kansas dictating a woman in Kansas keeps her constitutional right to choice. It has national implications. It's drawing national attention. Jarman also saying this August 2 vote in the Sunflower State will be the first to have an election on a constitutional question immediately following the decision to overturn Roe. So the public fights and push for votes is here. It's drawing national attention, and that means it's bringing national money into our state to help finance both sides in, in the, in the, in, on the issue. Jarman pointing out here with the nation watching this one, he says the motivations there on both sides of this debate to make it a big turnout. Here for you, Craig Andrus, KSN News 3. Craig,